Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of my career mode series, and I want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has turned into a lot more than I thought it would. I didn't think anybody was going to watch this, and so having, I think it is uh, 36 subscribers now, and my page has over a thousand views, uh, I really do appreciate you guys, you know, watching, liking, subscribing to my page. And so I really hope you guys continue to enjoy it. But next up, we have a game against Man City, which will be very, very tough indeed. They are currently sitting second in the table, and with the likes of Wesley Snyder and Carlos Tevez, three points from this game definitely weren't guaranteed. But with Spurs creeping up behind us, we needed at least a point from this game to solidify that fifth place spot. But Carlos Tevez had other ideas, and he buries this header in the back of the net all five foot tall of him for some reason can't be marked to make it 1-0. And then more bad news, Ashley Williams goes down with a very bad injury. He'll be out for a while. But alas, we go into halftime behind to Man City 1-2-0. We need to pick up our game if we want any points from this. But Jack Rodwell, the most useless player in the Man City squad, just waltzes through our defense to score their second goal of the game in the 48th minute. And then Carlos Tevez gets this delicious pass from David Silva to bury that into the back of the net for his second goal of the game in the 69th minute. And it was not looking good for Swans. In the 91st minute, Semed Yesel rescues some semblance of honor for this Swan squad, celebrating much too vigorously for that consolation goal. And that is how this one would end 3-1 Man City. And while I can't say I'm too surprised by the result, it would have been nice to get at least a point from that game. But Ashley Williams is out for four weeks, so we'll have to slide someone else into that back line. Luckily, Joris Okore is back in time for the Manchester United game. This fixture list is quite tough. But hopefully we can beat the other side of Manchester, the red side of Manchester, and solidify that fifth place spot. Europa League is what we're aiming for once again. But Jesse Rodriguez gives that to Kimi Augustine, who lays it off to Semed Yesel and yet another goal, this time bouncing off David De Gea in the seventh minute to put us ahead against Manchester United, but that lead would not last long. Wayne Rooney's effort, reminiscent of his goal against Manchester City a couple years ago, puts them level at 1-1, and in classic Man United fashion, Robin Van Persie scores their second goal in the 42nd minute to put them ahead 2-1, but Jesse Rodriguez has other ideas, and this screamer from outside of the area puts us level at 2-2 going into halftime. And we are doing quite well against this Manchester United side, especially at Old Trafford. But we'll see if we can pull ahead. And Semed Yesel says, I will do exactly that with his second goal of the game quickly after the restart, 48th minute. And we are ahead 3-2 against Manchester United. But of course, that would not last long. And Javier Hernandez, Chicharito, puts them level at 3-3 in the 51st minute. And things would go from bad to worse when Shinji Kagawa would bury that in the bottom corner to put them ahead in the 57th minute. Hopefully, we can come back from that. But Kagawa is on a roll, and he just puts that right around Arela for his second goal of the game in the 68th minute. And that is how it would end heartbreakingly we lose to both sides of Manchester when we were poised to take the three points from that game. And then we see there that Chico is also out for a couple of weeks. Really bad news for all of our defenders and Chelsea actually win the FA Cup which is fitting, very realistic. They seem to win it every couple of years. But we have a scouting report from America and we're going to take a look at these players. I'm going to reject uh you know, players that I don't think are elite prospects. I really want people that are going to be in the 90s, their potential. And so I get rid of a few of these players and keep scouting the others. Hopefully we find the next American football sensation. And of course, Manchester United clinched the Barclays Premier League title and Borussia Dortmund win the Europa League. Uh, really great news for them. Congratulations to Borussia Dortmund. And hopefully we will be uh, competing in that next season. But next up, we have a game against Fulham, and this is our last game of the season, which brings me to my next point. Uh, I really want to know your guys' input on who was your player of the season, and also if you want to get more technical, who is your uh, attacker of the season? Um, that would just be strikers, uh, 
who is your midfielder of the season. We'll split that into attacking midfield and defensive midfield because we did play with that double pivot about all year. Uh, and then who is your defender of the season and goalkeeper of the season. Uh, I'd really like to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, so put that in the comment section. But we are looking poised to take the three points from this game. Already ahead 2-0 in the 38th minute. And I believe that we need to win this game and Spurs lose for us to clinch that fifth place. And as of right now, we are doing our bit of the bargain. But Fulham would have a chance to get back in this game through Brian Ruiz. Has a very nice solo run and then puts that in the back of the net in the 59th minute to get them back in this game. But Jesse Rodriguez says he is going to close that door. An amazing solo run. Has to go to his knees, but puts that in the back of the net. Celebrate, my son. You have had a wonderful season. But he wanted Fulham to know that they had no way back into this game. And with his second goal, our fourth of the game, he puts it completely out of reach. And we would get the full three points from this game. A wonderful way to end the season. We'll see what Spurs did in their game and see if we get that fifth place spot. And they won. So that uh, puts us in sixth place. We still get Europa League. But we'll have to go through a couple more rounds of qualifying to get where Spurs are currently. But not a bad position for our first season in charge. Sixth place. I believe that's better than what they did last season. So I can't complain too much. But in other news, Jesse Rodriguez wins the Golden Boot for the Premier League. An absolutely absurd achievement. 30 goals in his first season. And I looked through the Spain squad to see if he uh, actually made it for the Confederations Cup. And ludicrously, he did not. But uh, Bayern Munich win the Champions League there. Congratulations to them uh, last year. You know, just heartbreaking what happened in Munich. But I can't uh, say I'm too upset about it because Chelsea did win. But Jonathan de Guzman there, uh, his loan deal has run out. Um, he's a player that I really want to bring in if the price is right. But, of course, if we have to pay you know, out the nose for him, I don't want to bring him in. I think there's uh, younger players that we could bring in, develop, and possibly get better than de Guzman. And uh, Francis Arnolin is looking like a uh, an elite prospect. Uh, his height is something that is really, really valuable. And maybe he will be our goalkeeper for the future. But Dwight Tiendali, uh says he wants a little more uh, on his contract. And I think that he earned it this year. He didn't have a wonderful season, but he was a very valuable squad player. And so I can't see why we wouldn't give uh, you know an extension to him and up his wages a tad. But it actually comes back and he uh, has denied it because he wanted a year and I gave him two years. Very bizarre. Uh, you know, we'll come back to that later. Uh, I don't know why he wouldn't take an extra year. But we have another scouting report from America. And, uh, of course, we're going to get rid of the players that aren't up to snuff and keep scouting those that, um, you know, one day may break their way into our first team. But that is where we will end this episode. Thanks again, guys, for watching all your support, uh, all the likes and subscriptions that I've gotten so far. And hopefully we can just go above and beyond what I expect every week, uh, get more subscriptions, more views. And thanks a lot, guys. Uh, remember, comment in the comment section saying who your best player of the season was. Striker, attacking mid, defensive mid, defender, and goalkeeper, if you please. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you next episode. Thanks a lot, guys.